Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here. Welcome to session two of Solving the Rubik's Cube with Mr. Mo. Thanks for joining me. Now today we're going to talk about how to solve or finish off solving the second layer and then getting to what they call the yellow cross on the top of the Rubik's Cube. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over a few uh, algorithms. Remember, algorithms are a series of steps that you have to follow to get to a certain state, a cube state. Uh, based on what you see in terms of uh, where everything is at, colors and things of that nature. So I'm going to go through the presentation and then we're going to come back and we're going to go through how we actually solve it. You'll see me solve it on the cube and work through those steps and then hopefully you'll be a couple more steps closer to being able to solve the Rubik's Cube. Remember, on the website we're going to put the solving handout so that'll be there to walk you step by step uh, through the entire process so you can follow along and you can even move ahead if you feel like you're ready Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our presentation. Okay, let's dive right into um, Our goal for today our goal for today is to solve um, At least in this first session here is to get our edge pieces uh, In their proper position where you see them here. Okay, so when we last left off remember we saw this entire bottom layer um, in this centerpiece here and then now we need to position and place our four edge pieces here, okay? Um, now the great thing about this is that it actually only requires really memorizing two different algorithms based on what you see on your cube, okay? So, all right, first step. You need to position one of the edge pieces. Typically you'll find an edge piece on this top layer here. Um, and if you don't, we'll, we'll talk about that in the next step. Um, and so what you wanna do is you wanna position uh, what the edge piece above its appropriate color. So if the edge piece here is blue, you want to position it over the blue piece. Okay. And then if you need to move this piece over to the right, then you would do this algorithm here. Okay. And as you can see, these algorithms here that are shown, they show you exactly how to move the cube. So very easy to understand. And you see the notation here, but at some point you won't even remember these algorithms. You'll just do everything from muscle memory. Okay. So, now we know because this face on this side here is actually red, we need to move this edge piece to the right. And so since we know that, we position it over the center blue piece, and then we do the algorithm right here, and that'll place it into this proper position, okay? Now let's say instead of red, this color here, let's say it was orange, which means that this other side of the Rubik's Cube over here is is actually orange, so then we need to put it over here, right? So since it's red, we know it needs to go to the right to match up with the right surface. But if it was orange, then we need to move it over here. And so what do we do? So glad you asked. You do this algorithm here, okay? And you see the orange piece here, okay? It's actually the same algorithm, it's just mirrored, okay? Meaning that you just do the steps on the other side, okay? And again, very easy to remember. Once you do it, you'll get it and understand it and it'll be muscle memory at some point. So this is the one that you do. So really solving a Rubik's Cube is a series of what they call if then, okay? So if it looks like this, then you do this algorithm, okay? If you want this state, then you do this algorithm, all right? So that's how you get. And once you do that for all uh, four edge pieces, then you'll have a complete uh, solve for the bottom two layers. Okay, so now, what if your, the edge piece that you need is already positioned here instead of on the top layer here? Well, simply do one of the algorithms, okay? So if it's positioned here, then you would do this algorithm to move it to this top layer and then you can reposition it and then do the same algorithm again to bring it back down, okay? And, and so same thing here. If, if the piece you wanna move is here, okay? Then you do this algorithm It'll pop it back on this top layer here, then you reposition it, and then do the algorithm again, and then it'll put it back down, okay? So that's what's so great about these two algorithms is that they're just super useful in both of those cases. So you only really have to remember two algorithms to solve that entire second layer, okay? Cool. So now, next we wanna get the yellow cross on the top. Now the yellow cross, is pretty easy is only one algorithm to remember is just you need to know when to deploy that algorithm and for how many times okay so let's say uh let's say when we get to this, this now this assumes that the bottom two layers are already solved okay so now let's say if we look at the top of our cube and we see a yellow cross if we already see it there then we don't need to do this algorithm 
you just proceed to step five, okay? And this is in the solving handout, which is uh, in the first session, okay? Um, and so, but let's say you come to the cube, and again, this is all by chance. You won't know until you actually do it. So let's say you look at the cube and you only see the yellow center at the top, then what do you do? Well, you do this algorithm one time, and then you move to and check state three and four, okay? So once you do that, it'll probably give you something that looks like what you see here, this line, we call that the line, or this L shape, okay? Now, if you get to this step here, and you see that it's a uh, elbow, then you do this algorithm, and it's the same algorithm as you see in the previous slide, okay? So it's just one algorithm. And all you and the only thing you need to know is when to deploy that algorithm, okay? So if you see this elbow here, and this is the front of the cube that's facing you, so you wanna make sure that that L is in the back. So if you have to turn your cube so that it's in the back like that, then do so. And then you do this algorithm two times, and then that'll give you the yellow cross at the top, okay? So, but let's say you, you look at the cube and you see a yellow line, okay? Now the yellow line may be going vertically. So that means that you'll have to turn the cube until it's horizontal like it is here, and that this is the face that's facing you, okay? And then do that algorithm one time, and then that should give you the yellow cross, okay? So, quick um, quick walkthrough. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you how I do those steps on an actual cube, so hopefully it makes a little bit more sense. So let's take a look at that.